Shit. I slept all day. What the hell? Dad? Look. I wonder if it burned like this the day, the day it happened. Take. Stab. I want to speak, but I don't know. Uh, roast. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness, but darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? <laughs> of getting burned. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? Of course. I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks.
Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A freaky red light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Oh, uh, uh, I, ho I, I hope. <laughs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. wild Rachel that was more than pretty wild you went absolutely nuts last night what the hell were you thinking I was angry I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh but now you're in on it too accessory after the fact unless you tell on me of course I'm no snitch <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David he announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. David. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? I... Yeah, Steptush, I think that is the one that is in the first game. Or maybe she had said Steptic too. But yeah, step douche. He's a uh, step douche because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew. And pretty soon they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. Blackwell. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. Should I mention the fire? I mean... 
She started it, and if I mention it, she maybe gets angry. I don't know. Fire. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to break into a viewfinder? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That... makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Wells. Hey, you ever try picturing what Principal Wells does when he's not at school? I see, like, a bed covered in teddy bears and he's tying a little necktie around each one. That's weird. I'm a weirdo. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You're not like him. You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck, bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. There we go. I don't know. So, what now? Check out the mystery bag. Well, 
Maybe not yet. I just want to hang. This place is the shit. It's like my junk fortress of solitude. Graffiti. Hold on, I just have to pick this up. Because it's the wrong way. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so... Graffiti. I already got an achievement, that's good. Ah, okay. It's important to mark my territory for all future Junk Shack visitors. So, nothing else. Can I... Oh, leave. Okay, um... I should see what Rachel brought me in her mystery bag. Okay, open. A bag full of clothes. Nice. Yes, I need those. Let's see what we have. Try on. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Okay, let's see. Bonus outfit. Well, I guess it's just my pre-order. Right? Yeah. So... Raven here. Tarot. Skull. Um, well, let's, let's just try something. Kind of nice. Let's see what else we have. Yes. And now this one. I look kind of close to the original Chloe. With a hat and, a, and uh, everything, but... Should I have this? I can maybe have this? Yeah. Okay, let's just take this. Frank. Ah, okay, he's here now. Cool. I can still change my clothes, but... Yeah, no. Let's just go out. That 
that's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Price, get your ass in here. Smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who was that woman? Ah! Oh, God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Yeah, Justin. Let's see. Okay. We're back. You're listening to 87.9 FM to Seder. I have a with me betting slip. Chief of the Arcadia Twelve hundred dollars. Right Way now. out of my league. What can you tell us about this huge fire? It's a nasty one, all right. Big Fight the power. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, injuries yet, but that could change at any second. Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Yeah, I remember now. Oh, that was me. Ugh, gross. Were those beans? I guess it is. Can I use it? Would you notice? Yes. Wait, Frank got a puppy. For real? Uh huh. Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Shit. The mill burned out. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Hmm. Okay. Graffiti. Home, work, home, work, <laughs> work, home. Okay, um, uh, work. Got it. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. Well done. That's an insane amount of beans. Open. Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. Yeah, so what else? Open. Okay, little guy. Oh shit! Pompadou, get up here! Pompadou? You little killer.
I guess this is his notebook. I want to just look around or some. Let's see. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Okay, take. Is this what I think it is? Ah, shit. I'm in the red. Yeah. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Take. Don't mind if I do. Oh, okay. I Don't do. even fucking think about it. I'm sorry. Damn. I'm sorry. I, I didn't. I didn't know what it was. I, 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 I can see it now. Sorry. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? Okay, let's just uh, notebook. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. French for what? Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Can I do this? Demand an answer or something? Because I really want to know because she was with Rachel's dad, so... I kinda maybe should just let it go? I demand an answer. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. I won't sell you out. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Uh, drink like, can I use that? Hey, so uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too. See, we're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? hanging out? I'm, I'm not. Just hanging with a friend here. A friend I don't know much about. Tell me, Frank. Seeing any girls lately? I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You, you got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. 
Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? No, I never talked to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackball. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. It's still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price, a hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Okay, let's see. Do. Oh, it works. Oh, graffiti. <laughs> Abandon all hope. Ye who enter here. Welcome to hell. That's cool. 
Awesome. So, what is this? Look. Just... Ugh. Yeah. Okay. So... Yeah. Speak. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Chloe. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So, what are you doing here? Um, seeing the, the, seeing the Tempest? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. Obviously, Rachel's fantastic, but everyone else is pretty impressive, too. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... Uh, how, what, what do I say to that? Um, I'm not sure. I'm... <sighs> Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... Confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Yep. So... Evan. Let's see. Uh, speak. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks really ridiculous. Yeah, mock him. Hey, uh, Evan? As intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You were the only person who signed my petition. I mean, seriously signed it. That's... pretty sad. I'm a low bar, but did you really expect people to care? People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? 
I guess you were right. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Okay. So, yeah. Hold on, there's someone in there. Is that? What's his name? Wait. Oh, Samuel, yeah. Cool. Speak. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? Um... Drew? I'm, uh... <laughs> looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that he is a great heart he has with much love and no room for fear <sighs> i've always thought he was kind of a bully he may be that too no one is just one thing rachel what do you think of uh, rachel amber rachel amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? Uh, Elliot? So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay? Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. What? What do I want to keep hidden? And, uh... What, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. That is kind of true because Chloe had lost her father and everything. And shit is going on, so I better not say And it. afraid. Okay, I better not say anything. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. Okay, let's just uh, go in now. Locked. Figures. Okay. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Okay, keys. Uh, Samuel, I want to talk to you again. Yes. Oh, wait. Look. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? I guess. But what can we do? Look. Such a nice white door. <laughs> Though, it feels like it's missing something. Doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. Ah, shit. Hold on, I fix it. Um. Okay, I'm gonna f do something. 
Look. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. Uh. But Evan is right there. Okay. Can I ask him to move? Uh, Speak? You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Okay, thank you very much. Ooh. I don't know. Should I? Okay, I have to. Hey! Shit! I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Scared a bird? Time for a fresh start. Kick the bird! <laughs> no, okay. Here we go. All right, seriously. Uh. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay. Cool. You're welcome. Can I still talk to him or something? For once, Evan's obsessiveness turned out to be useful. A bird on top of a bird. Photo of the year, Evan. Okay, okay, listen here now. Uh, smash. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. I can't believe I just did that. Uh, I feel so bad. Then again, kiss. No, wait, wait. I want to graffiti. Yes. Squirrel peace offering. Squirrel gives no fucks. I don't know. Peace offering. <laughs> Awesome. Definitely cheers the place up. Yep. Okay, keys, take. Sorry, Samuel. Run. All right. Time to find Drew's room. And then... Unlock. No time like the present. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get expelled? Uh, yes, but I'm visiting a friend. Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't. I really can't just let you go in. Uh, I can't be. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. For all time's sake. Come on, Skip. I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. 
for old times' sake. I want to, Chloe, but I really can't. Can I lie? Samus said he was okay. Look, it, it's cool. Samuel said it was okay. Did Wells? No. Oh, didn't think so. Alright, I have to do this shit. Please don't fail me now. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. I can't. Oh shit. What's my official business? I'm going to the bathroom. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is that interesting to you? What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. If you keep violating students' personal rights, you're going to get fired. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? You know Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a, a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I'm so sorry. Oh no! Friends don't violate each other's civil liberties, Skip. Good one. Look, look, look! I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. You're... you're sorry? You just looked at my tits. You you did. You stared right at them. Oh, shit. I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know. But... En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. I'm here. I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. Thanks, Kip. I'm sorry. Okay. Unlock. <laughs>